Hi, Phil Schoenberg for Fast Pitch Power. The question of rotation in the delivery of the pitch has come up numerous times in recent inquiries that we've received from our followers. And although we don't talk that much about it, I think that uh, it would be useful to clarify what we are referring to when we talk about rotation. Premature rotation is primarily what we are concerned with. Now, what is premature rotation? In its most extreme, extreme form, premature rotation is what you would see in somebody who has been taught the open door, closed door, hello elbow form of delivery. And what does that look like? You load, you reach, you open the door, you close the door, and you deliver the ball. Now, what's happening there is everything is turning first in the direction of the track and then back to where you started square to your target. Unfortunately, everything here is attached. Hips, shoulders, arms, torso. Everything is attached and everything moves when I rotate in that fashion. Now, what we do or what we teach at Fast Pitch Power, and you've seen it dozens and dozens of times, is the establishment of a throw zone. We call it a throw zone, a lane, whatever it is that you want to refer to it as, that is pointing at our target. I do that by coming off the pitching rubber, reaching and tracking, and getting into what we call power K position. When I do this, and I stay in this track position, I establish a throw zone that is directly over my power line. Let's just talk about a fastball down the middle of the plate. We've talked about it hundreds of times. And here, if I have established that throw zone pointing at my catcher's glove, and my hand is over the throw zone, palm up, elbow down, I am going to be able to fire to the end of that throw zone and drive straight through and put that ball right into my catcher's glove. So if I've established the throw zone and it is pointing at my target and I get to the end of my throw zone with my pitching hand without the throw zone moving, my ball is going to the target, can't go anyplace else. If, however, I am rotating, watch what's happening to my, everything's moving here, in order for me to command that 17 inch square, in order for me to make certain that I am going to hit the spot that I want to hit, I'm going to have to slow down and guide the ball or push the ball because I am not going to have the stability in my body that is going to enable me to command that 17 inch square with maximum speed. Now that being said, that open door, closed door, hello elbow method is the most extreme form of rotation. There is natural rotation in the delivery of the pitch. Let me say that again. There is going to be natural rotation in the delivery of the pitch. But it is incidental to the pitch, not instrumental in the pitch. What do I mean by that? When I come off the pitching rubber and I'm doing full motion and I load and I reach and I track and I fire and drive, you're going to see that there is some movement, some rotation, because I got to get back to this position because I'm only doing half my job as a pitcher just delivering the ball, then I become one of the nine fielders. I got to be ready to feel the ball that is hit back to me. So there is going to be some rotation. We have a job to do as windmill pitchers, however. When I establish my throw zone, I could do anything I want once my hand gets to the end of the throw zone and I drive through. So the subtle rotation is okay, provided that it doesn't break your throw zone. Throw zone ends, outstretched glove straight down. It's not a long way away. It's not all the way down by my catcher. That's the pitching lane. My throw zone is right within the frame of my body, pretty much. 
outstretched gloves straight down. So I want to get to the end of it like a bolt of lightning. And that's what gets you from a 50 mile an hour pitcher to a 55 mile an hour pitcher to a 60 mile an hour pitcher to a 65 mile an hour pitcher. Aggressiveness off the pitching rubber without mechanical breakdown, increasing the length of your throw zone in your stride without mechanical breakdown, and having to get to the end of that increased throw zone length in the same amount of time as when it was shorter. And you're not going to be able to command that 17 inch square if you are prematurely rotating and your throw zone is moving as you're trying to deliver the ball. Optimal mechanics is what we always strive for. Are we going to be perfect? No, we're not machines, but we're going to work toward that. And as long as we work toward optimal mechanics, as though you were a machine, the closer you're going to get to it. I hope that this has been useful and we'd love to hear your comments. Please let us now know how you're doing with your pitching, and we will provide you with the best information we possibly can. Talk to you next time.